all right guys so once you remove the battery once you remove your air intake housing i also unplug the upper radiator hose and the lower radiator hose i'm gonna start unplugging all these connectors they are on the sensors for the for the temperature sensor the egr valve i also gonna unplug this one for the int i mean this this little sensor I'm gonna clear as much as I can so I can have enough room to take this whole housing out. We're gonna be taking all this bolt all around. There's probably about eight to nine bolts. I'm gonna just gonna go all these little hoses here. There's a heater hose back there that we need to disconnect that one. That one right there is gonna be pretty tough. And then there's one right next to it. You can see it right there, that one. That's the one that goes underneath the intake. We're gonna be taking out the connecting pipe. So stay tuned, we're gonna, we're gonna remove all these bolts. These are size 12, all of them. I recommend you to start with the hoses first. So we have a solid piece and then we can pry to remove the hose. This line, they have the quarter, quarter size socket. I'm just gonna be using this quick swivel to take it, take it out. Gonna leave the ones in the back at the end because there's no way to take out the, uh, that clamp unless we cut it the one for the heater for it's pretty messed up Here we have a little ground wire attached to the thermostat housing. Take that off. And then right next to the thermo thermostat here in the back, there's a little sensor too. I think this one is for the fan. Make sure you unplug that one. It seems like it's gonna be easy to break if you forget about it. Let it out. It's uh, this brown connector with two cables, two wires. Now I'm gonna start losing all the size 12. Uh, I'm guessing I started on this side. the EGR first in order to get to the ones behind it.
there is a gasket here make sure you don't drop this gasket and now we can get to never mind there's not even any bolts here I thought this was part of the bolts that we need to remove never mind look at this I thought it was part of this housing but it's not so there's one more down here and you can feel one more down here so we're gonna take those two out yeah there's only two more here that makes it more clear though if you take a DGR so yeah remove it it's easier There it is, so that's only three on this side, and then we're gonna go to, to the back, in the back I feel like there's only two. The one on the bottom is gonna be pretty tough. We'll see right now. kind of hard to tell but I had the wrench right there Those are very tight. So I end up using, using this size 12. It's like the intermediate size. It's not too short, not too long. It's in the middle. This is what I gotta lose with without removing the hoses. Pretty tough. Now I'm just gonna take it out by hand. Okay, so I already took out the one in the back. Now I'm gonna try to separate this. one more here so that means there's four four on this side there's gonna be two bolts and two nuts there's one more here it's kind of hard to see it's right behind the starter I just hope I can break it loose I don't have any wrench today
wow the ones on the bottom I'm extremely tight so this is what I was able to use guys I forgot my wrench and I'm doing this job on the side of the out of somebody's house so I was able to use this little little wrench with a size 12 It's not as loose. It's gonna be a little tough to take it out because the, the pipe that is uh, the connecting pipe is, is under pressure there. Kinda like under pressure. You have to slowly pry it out from each end because if you try to pry it out from one side only, it's gonna crack. I guess I'm gonna take up the thermostat because this housing is on the way. Make it easier. Both high stand. Now I just have to unplug the hose that is holding it back there. I use this to separate the hose from the pipe because it's full of uh, Alright, so here it is guys, the connecting pipe. This is your gasket for the housing. Metal gasket. It's messed up.
This one you're gonna have to make a turn and hope for the best. Turn and pull towards you at the same time so it releases in the back. Okay, so there, there it is, it's out.